This was not my idea. Oh, no. You don't have to tell us this. Sorry. Set yourself down right here. Oh. <laughs> when I was 19, I was, um, I was, I did a semester at Sullivan Community College, which is not really that far from here. And uh, I got myself on the concert committee. And uh, part of the story I don't tell most of the time is the school voted for who they wanted to have as the spring concert or a fall concert. I can't remember anymore. It's probably a fall concert. And the winner was Poco. <laughs> so the money that was appropriated for the concert was going to go to Poco. The omnibudsman of the school called me one day and he said, we have the opportunity to get Kingfish and the Keith and Donna band. I was like, oh, how cool. I said, the school voted for Poco. He goes, screw this school. Because <laughs> 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 he was a deadhead and we had a bunch of other deadheads on the concert committee. So I was like, I was like all right. So we rigged it, and then the vote they gave up, well, Keith and Donna and Kingfish wins. And, and I know there were a lot of groans all over, but like, cool. So all right, so now we're so excited because we have these guys coming in. And uh, we, we didn't know our asses from our elbows. We didn't know how to set up a, a room for performing artists, you know. And, and of course, now that I've done professional stuff in my life and have been in beautiful dressing rooms, and I, I see how how horrendous this was, but these guys come and we throw them in a locker room in the gym with no food, not a candle or a light, just lights on the ceiling and lockers. So, so Billy was the first one who got there. Billy comes in and he looks around and he goes, oh, great. He sits on a, on a bench, he leans up against the locker, opens up a Budweiser, he's drinking the Budweiser, and he's just Billy, you know. <laughs> and then Keith and Donna walk in, and Keith looks around, he doesn't say anything. Donna walks in, looks around, and goes, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm standing there like, oh, 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 in a locker room? <laughs> oh my god. I, I felt so horrible. But what the hell did I know, you know? So and you know, Donna was like uh, the first time I ever saw Donna sing, I was fifteen years old and uh, and fell completely head over heels in love with you. Like every other guy in the audience was like, oh, who's that? Oh my god. So the, I'm finally getting to meet her and I get ripped the new ass. <laughs> but I relayed this story to her a few years ago. She got so upset. She felt so horrible. And I was like, you know, it happened 40 years ago. And I was like, yeah, what's the big deal? She goes, no, there's no excuse for that. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt horrible I even told her. <laughs> Can I just say something? If they put us in a, a locker room, DSL, everybody in the band would go, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 said to us, you know, you really should set up a room. There was no road manager who came in and ripped us a new asshole. And the road manager was there. Uh, the guy that was... Uh, oh, well, there was two of them. Was it Rex? Oh, Rex was wrote for Keith and Donovan and, uh, what's his name? That, uh, the little guy. Yeah, that was <laughs> was he was uh, like... Hobie. Hobie. Tim Hobie. Tim Hobie. Yeah. Well, Tim Hobie, Hobie walks out. This is what he, he says he to me. Really he comes in before Bobby gets there. And he gathers everybody together. He goes, when Bob gets here, I don't even want you to look at him. <laughs> Say a word. And we were like, fuck you. We're paying you $8,000 to come here and play. Yeah, right. We do whatever we want. You know, this guy, and, 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 and when we did that, he, he got cowered away. Like, oh. Rex would come in and just poke in the chest if he had the same to say. He's just like, yeah, right. excuse me. And he's just like, yeah. But, but he never said a <laughs> word. He, he saw like, how we said, how yeah, what the accommodations were. He didn't say a word. Yeah. So we, we were happier than pigs yeah. and shit. like, oh, okay, great. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But, you know, now I realize that's, you know, you just don't treat people that way, throw them in a locker room. Yeah, I, I, felt, I felt terrible about she didn't, get her, she didn't even get her own locker. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Came in while 
I was in there, it was like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Could, could, uh, let me just leave for just a minute while you guys change. You know, <laughs> and get your guys' stuff put away before I come back in here with your stuff put away. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, I don't no, know but I, I still, <laughs> to this day, feel so bad about this. Here's this green little 19 year old. <laughs> 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 yeah, right then. Rocco, Rocco. <laughs> you know, and I'm like ripping him a new asshole. <laughs> You know, I apologized to him profusely. You really did. <laughs> I, I just go, ho, oh, oh. <laughs> So sorry. The thing is, we were, so I, I left the room and, and uh, we were talking. Oh, my God, we're going to play this shit, man. They hate us. They hate this place. And they went up and played brilliantly. You, know? I mean, you guys were great. Really great. And now think about that for a minute. What entertainer is going to punish his audience for the... Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, exactly. you, you yourself, have you ever taken it out on the crowd? With I you know, know. Never. Never. No. Never. How do you think Poco would have handled that? Probably not so well. No, no, no. no why not? Well, that party really wasn't Poco anymore anyway. Yeah, right. They were, really did they the were right thing. Yeah. <laughs> had the Eagles poached the second base there yet? No, 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 no. Not yet. But they were about to. They only took the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, they played in San Francisco last week. Or it was up on the Billboard. Yeah. Great American. I Poco? Po it was yeah. Up on, yeah. Who was the only guy left? I don't Rusty know. Young. I didn't Rusty go down Young. Rusty, Rusty Young is the only one. Did you Oh, is it Meisner dead? No. I don't know who the hell is it. Not, not, no. not dead? That's who I thought Jim, 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 Jim. Yeah, but he's not in the band. Jim Messina. Jim Messina. Jim None of those guys. Richie Fure. I think the session just ended. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what was the session? Oh. Oh. Well, no, we can keep going. I just thought it disintegrated into this yeah, conversation right. about Coco. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm now. <laughs>